Hello students, in this video we will draw the orthographic projections of this given figure in the third angle projection. Let us see the figure. So there are three directions given in the figure. One is A, this is A. So A is the direction of the top view, B, B is the direction of the front view and C, this one, it is the direction of the left hand side view. Well, C is given in the other direction also from the right also but we will consider it from the left so we will draw the left hand side view. Right, so let us start drawing. First of all we will start from the front view. Let us start. Go to line command. Then turn on the ortho mode. This is ortho mode. Let us start drawing. So first of all we will draw a rectangle of 100, this is 100 given and the height is 45, this is 45. So we will draw a rectangle of 100 by 45 mm. Let us start. This is 100, let us go, this is 100. Then 45. Then again 100 and then again 45. So this I have drawn by direct distance entry method. Right. Next is this you can see this is 25 mm. Okay. So we'll draw a line of 25 mm from this end. This is 25 let us suppose. And then let us draw a vertical line. So if you see here this we, we need to draw this line. This is 15 plus 15, right? So it is 30. Draw a line of 30 mm. And this we have to join on this left side. Click over here, right? And then we have this line also. You can see. So copy this. Go to copy command. Take this as the base point and place it at the midpoint of this line. Click over here. Right. This is the front view. Increase the line weight. Make it 1 mm. Right. I suppose this is clear to you. Now we have drawn the front view. Let us draw the top view. So before that, let us draw the vertical projection lines from all the visible corners. The top view will be drawn at the top. In the third angle projection. So these are the three projection lines. Let us draw a line of 20 mm and start the top view from this end. Now when you see this object from the top, you will be able to see a rectangle first of all of 100, this is 100 by 75. In the direction of A, we are going to see the top view. Let us start. So this 100 mm you need not measure because you already have this projection line. This is 75. Then this is 100 again. Click over here. And then click over here. Right. Then leave a space of 25 mm. Like this is 25, this is 25. And this is also 25. Right, because total is 75. So from here, let us leave a space of 25 mm. Draw a line of 25 mm vertically downwards. And then it is this line. You can click over here. This is the projection line coming from the front view. And then you click over here. 
right next is you copy this line go to copy command take this as the base point and you place it place it at the midpoint of this line click over here so this is the top view let us select the top view and increase the line weight make it 1 mm so i suppose this top view is also clear to you now we have to draw the left hand side view which will be drawn at the left and adjacent to the front view so for this i need to draw a line at 45 degree from this corner so i'll be drawing a line let us suppose like this is the first point of the line starting point and that line has to be 45 degree inclined to this horizontal or you can say inclined to vertical okay so at what angle will i be drawing this so either you consider it like it is 90 90 plus 45 so it will be 135 degree or you can consider it 180 minus 45 so again it will be 135 degree so for that i will be moving to polar tracking go to polar tracking right click on polar tracking go to tracking settings here you add new angle so already like 135 has been added so i'm deleting it and again we will be adding it so click on new right 135 degree it is done press okay go to line command click over here so turn on polar tracking Just see where it is. One thirty-five degree. One thirty-seven, and this is one thirty-five. Right. So just click over here randomly. Now, from all the visible corners in the top view, you draw horizontal projection lines. Turn on ortho mode. Cross this. 45 degree line because if you are not crossing this it might you know click anywhere on the nearest point on this line so it is better to you know cross this and then you click right now you can trim the extra lines e r s and t twice then from all the visible corners in the front view you draw horizontal projection lines like this you can copy this It'll be easier to draw copy command take this as the base point click over here and click over here then wherever these projection lines are intersecting this inclined line from there you draw vertical projection lines over here vertically downwards like this and this one the image of the left hand side view it has already been drawn so you just need to see what is visible and those lines you just need to increase the thickness so let us draw line command so when you see uh, the object from the left so you will be able to see a rectangle of 45 by 75 so but now you need not measure it again because already you have the projection lines 
So just click over here. Right. Then next is so you have this line 15 mm. Sorry, this is 25 mm. No need to measure it. Click over here, and this is 15. Click over here. This is again 25. Click over here. 15. Click over here, and then again 25. So just select all the lines and increase the thickness, make it equal to 1 mm, make it outline. So this is the left hand side view of this figure. So TR, press enter twice for trimming the extra lines again. These lines also you can trim, extra projection lines can be trimmed. And these at the top also can be trimmed. Right, so this is the orthographic projection, orthographic front view, top view and side view of this given figure. Right, so let us dimension it now with the linear dimensioning. So this is equal to 100. Click over here. Click over here. This is equal to 100. Then again linear dimensioning. This is 15. This is also 15. And this total is equal to 45. Let us mark 45 over here. This is 45 mm. Again, linear dimensioning. So in the front, I think all the dimensions are done. This 25 is also there. So 25. Now from the top, this is equal to 75. This is equal to 25 or let us mention this dimension. This is 25. This is also 25. Right? I suppose all the dimensions are done. 2575 yes so let us just delete this figure so this is the solution let us go to mtext command and write the front view and top view This is the top view. Four. This is the top view. Copy this, control C, control V. This is the front view. Double click on this to edit. Now 
and this is left hand side view. Right. So this is the projection that we have drawn in the third angle projection, orthographic projection, third angle projection. That I suppose this figure is clear to you. Thank you very much.